Welcome back on the channel, this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I just received the April update. This time we have the CXCF April update and it's already running One X6.1 so in case you missed my first One X6.1 review for the S23 Ultra please go watch this. Now guys I'm gonna start immediately with your tests. I put on my community post the fact that I got it. People are asking me what about the issue with the charging where you plug the phone and you will keep charging and it will not stop charging with the new battery protection functions also does this update fix the fingerprint issue this is also something i'm going to be testing guys i'm going to be also testing the animations and the camera lens switch but first thing is first i have 74 percent i'm going to turn the battery protection and i'm going to choose the maximum and i'm going to also plug the phone now i'm going to leave the phone and in half an hour i'm going to check if i am only at 80 percent or it's gonna keep charging. It's time to see if the first fix works and it seems that it works because I just got a message that my phone has yeah reached 80% and charging is stopped to protect the battery. And we are back on the review table of course recording in 4k 60 fps because yes animation testing apps opening apps closing also camera lens cycle is going to be part of this review. What I want to show you guys this here is not another S23 Ultra this here is another S24 Ultra, last updated 26th of March with a security patch level from the 1st of April, almost one gigabyte patch full of camera things, improvements, this and that, I can check my review. Now, today, 11th of April, and we can click here and learn more. Yeah, this time actually Samsung put it there. So it's the CXD2 with the security patch level from the 1st of April. The previous one, CXCF, was the one with the 1X6.1. And guys, I usually start with testing the fluidity of the interface and I'm not going to just cheat on me. I'm gonna do the same. So I'm just gonna do it in the same time on both of my phones. So here on the left, the S23 Ultra, latest April, here on the right, S24 Ultra. And I'm shooting this video in 4K 60 FPS, allowing you the best viewing angle and the chance to compare how these two phones work. All right, is this really one and the same phone, different design, or is really a gentry so much better and etc. So the first animation I'll say quite nice. Now let's check on the blur effect. So when we do like this, right, we just get the blur gradually applied. And if I have to be honest, I have to do it like this so that I'm pulling the control center, right? Absolutely same and equalized, which is actually good. One swipe like this will reveal here notifications okay we can swipe them left right to kill them like we do right now all very nice no big problems i'm gonna clear clear here no big issues here whatsoever one more time okay clear one more time and one more time will allow me to go inside the quick settings menu really up and running device smart control you can see even the s23 ultra was a bit quicker sometimes of course there will be this occasional status not so often, but I think One X6.1 is really a very much welcome change for the S23 Ultra and go watch my video here where I showed all the new things. Now going to the left will give me the Google Now. All right, going to go and exit everything, swiping really right. It's just absolutely normal going to my home screens. And now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go up. Okay, this is the up drawer. All right, you can just see <laughs> how many applications, guys, I have on my S23 Ultra. It's just crazy. 700 applications, one year of full testing. Uh, I'm still lacking behind with the S24 Ultra. Click here. All right, absolutely stunning. No issues whatsoever. Going outside, absolutely perfect. Now, recent menu, okay? Absolutely amazing. No luck whatsoever. Closing it, absolutely amazing. Yeah, all right, this was intended to be a joke, but what is not a joke, I'm going to open the first folder, all right? It's the social one, very nice. Now let's go and open Telegram, absolutely stunning. Scrolling, going outside. Let's go and open X, almost like the same phone, I guess. Recent menu one more time. Now let's open Facebook. Jesus, the S23 Ultra just even loads apps faster. All right, let me just try close all, close one more time. Okay, uh, now let's redo this. I'm gonna open Telegram. Jesus, absolutely split second, exactly the same thing. Open X. Amazing. All right, now let's go and open Instagram. Okay, and just scrolling down, scrolling down, uh, if the phone allows me, and yep, also nice. Now, pay attention, I'm gonna go to the right, hopefully getting to the, okay, okay. Hi guys, quite the same, I would say, not a problem at all. Now let's just try to go inside. 
And you know, guys, the moment you open something with a camera, it could be the camera, like I'm just opening the camera right now, the refresh rate on the screen will drop from 120 to 60 hertz. I get a lot of questions where I'm taking my wallpapers from. So it's either Lunar Wallpaper, right? Created by Matthias Eckert or it's the wall rod application. It's also created by Matthias Eckert. Go download it, buy it actually. It's not so expensive, like $1 or something. Just amazing up. And now guys, one more time, just gonna open Telegram, gonna go scroll down, exit. We see the very same zoom effect. It's absolutely amazing guys. Now, let's go and do some other text. Let's go inside the camera settings, scroll down to the camera assistant. I just wanna make sure I'm using the same settings or all the HDR pictures off when it is off. No auto length switching. Everything pretty much the same here, the same. And of course, I do also have the QuickTap shutter activated on the S24 Ultra. I'm going to also activate it here, guys. Now, what this means is that the moment I hit the shutter on my phone, a picture is gonna be taken. The default behavior on the Samsung, don't ask me why, is the moment you hit the shutter button, you leave your finger and then only the picture is taken. But look at this now, right? So why am I doing this? For you to be able to see how quick the shutter speed is. And by the way, you can just see here, right? Like how many pictures I'm able to take with the S24 Ultra. And yeah, so I would say that is just a tiny bit slower, but it's still very much acceptable. Now let's go and let's choose the video mode. And inside the video mode, guys, I'm gonna stay to usually 30. Why? Because the S23 Ultra still is not able to change all the lenses. When you're using USD 60, right? Whatever I mean, like if you use 3X here, it's just gonna be a crop. It's not going to directly go to the 3X camera. So I'm keeping USD 30 everywhere and I just wanna see how quick the phones are able to change. All right. 0, 06 to 3. Okay, 0, 06 to 3 here. I would say that it's almost the same and uh, yeah, probably not so quick. I do believe that the S24 Ultra just has some edge into those camera transitions. You can see this here, but that's quite normal. Anyway, the S23 Ultra isn't behaving that bad. Now let's check some of them widgets. All right, opening the weather. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Why? Because it really works exactly in the same way. Now let's try to also open Spotify. All right, Spotify. Okay, okay, and one more time. Yep, absolutely the same. Now let me just close one more time everything again. And I'm gonna go back here. I have a few more tricks to show you. I'm going to now open the edge panels and I'm gonna hit this combination. Okay, click here. Now I'm gonna switch the screens. Okay, switch one more time. And I'm just gonna maximize Telegram. And now I'm gonna minimize Telegram. So let's minimize it here. Let's minimize it here as well. Yep. No issues whatsoever, I think. And of course, when you go on a home screen, just gonna be like this, one more time. Okay, and now just maximize it and exit. Very nice. Some people reported problems with the fingerprint reader, right? Ah, doesn't match, one more time, okay. So, I'm just trying to do this without illuminating the screen. And I'll be show you guys the S24 Ultra. Okay, you have to know where it is, all right, no. One more time. I would say that the S23 Ultra just performs <laughs> almost the same as the S24 Ultra. But okay, really we have to know how much is this almost. And guys, now I know this is not 100% relevant, but nevertheless, I'm gonna run Geekbench, okay? Just to see how much I'm gonna get. So let's start Geekbench on both of those phones, S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra. And while I'm testing, guys, I want to show you, I have 27 ambient temperature, which is actually quite a lot. And yeah, 38.2 for the S23 Ultra and 39.7 for the S24 Ultra. One more time, just to be sure. 37, all right, one more time. 37.8 and 39. I don't use any specific settings via Thermal Guardian. So let's just see which one is going to finish first and also the score at the end. And the S24 Ultra has done 1945-6328. I just want to see my previous score, just to see how consistent they are. And of course they are not. Why? 39 degrees, maybe a bit higher. Whoa, 1930, 5000. You can see right now like S24 Ultra. Yeah, only 15 points higher again. The S24 Ultra with the Agent 3 is able to do 2200. But in this case, this is how much I got. And yeah, also let's try to measure the temperature at the end 
So, 41, apparently 41.44 the S24 Ultra and 39 for the S23 Ultra. So what I'm gonna do next, guys, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna run a 3D mark. Not the stress test, but I just wanna see kind of like the score that I'm gonna get at least in one loop here, all right? And, oops, starting it, S24 Ultra on top, S23 Ultra here. Let's just see how much we're gonna get. And of course, I'm gonna be measuring also the temps. The main star of the show, S23 Ultra running the latest April patch and the One Six Dot One. And the biggest question is, how close is this phone to that phone, right? Like if you wanna get like 10X optical zoom, this one is not a choice for you. If you wanna get nice 5X, maybe then this phone is a choice for you. But if you wanna get like kind of both, yeah, sadly not possible. But okay, now let's just see how much we can get at the end of the test. And here are the results, 4,256 points overall for the S24 Ultra, not so bad. 3,470 with the S23 Ultra and the average frame rate, guys, 20 and here 25. So this is pretty much um, what you're gonna get. So the S24 Ultra is still a very capable phone am 2024 and again it will all down come to some personal preferences if you want to get the latest and greatest well of course you'll go for the s24 ultra but if you want to get really 3x and 10x optical zoom and even 20x and 30x nice shots then this phone for sure will be your top choice compared to this s24 ultra now the latest april patch doesn't really add a lot of new things the new things came already with one i6.1 like all the fancy ai stuff with the keyboard with the generative edits and all of this check my video here and i'll keep testing the s23 ultra in 2024 hopefully also the one i7 when we're here thank you so much for watching guys stay safe vst over and bye